Hey everybody, Yankee here. Today I want to do a video responding to someone who in the comment section of my video yesterday when I was explaining different size guns said that I was wrong again because I said that the Super Red Hawk was bigger than the Red Hawk and they're the exact same size, they use the exact same cylinders. Uh, well, they do use the same cylinder blanks. Uh, and they are very similar, but you will find that the Super Red Hawk one is usually about two millimeters thicker than the ones on the regular Red Hawks. But that's actually irrelevant because you don't judge guns by the size of their cylinders. It's not a J cylinder or a KL cylinder or a D cylinder. It's none of those things. It's always a KL frame or an N frame or a D frame. You judge guns, handguns, by the size of their frame. And after I pointed that out to them, then they started to say, well, the frames are the same size too. This is just the, how they do the barrels different, blah, 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 so that they can do, you know, just a bunch of nonsense he just started spouting. Uh, because that's just absolutely not true. The frames are not the same. The Ruger Super Red Hawk uses a large monolithic body. All of this is part of the frame. On the Red Hawk, it's just this part. And yeah, they're very similar in a lot of ways, but they're different in others. For instance, the top strap is thicker on the Super Red Hawk, therefore bigger. It's thinner on the regular Red Hawk. On the Red Hawk, the frame only extends to here. This is barrel. This is just barrel assembly. It's got nothing to do with the strength of the frame. On the Super Red Hawk, like I said, it's a monolithic frame. It goes out to here. This is all part of the frame. It increases the size and strength of the frame. That's why they made the Super Red Hawk. When you see the barrel assembly attached to the Super Red Hawk, it becomes very obvious that this is part of the frame because it looks like someone stuck a pipe on the end of a Super Red Hawk Alaskan. To try and pretend that all of that doesn't make this a much larger and stronger frame is moronic. And then the person got upset when I called them a moron. Uh, you never notice that it's usually the morons who get the most upset when you point out that they're morons. Because people who aren't morons, I don't know, I don't think get that offended by it. But uh, people call me a moron all the time. I don't get offended. Either I'm too stupid to realize I'm a moron or I just don't think I am and therefore I don't get offended. But like I was saying, this frame is so much larger. And not only are the cylinders a tiny bit larger, but the top strap is thicker. And it has so much more metal. It is so much heavier. It has this full length frame up here. Uh, the cranes are similar. You know, the back uh, ends are a little similar and the trigger assemblies are similar, but that's about it. Overall, this frame is much larger. That's why it exists. If they didn't need this larger, stronger frame, they would just do these in the 454 Casul and everything because people like the looks of these better. I see people complain all the time about the Super Red Hawks when they have longer barrels, how it looks like they just stuck a pipe in the end of the gun. So if they didn't need that bigger, larger frame, they wouldn't use it. And the reason they need it is because it is bigger and it is stronger. To try to pretend the Super Red Hawk is the same size gun as a Red Hawk, like I said, is almost comical. Uh, and I know these people are doing it because they're like, you just didn't want to have to compare the Red Hawk, the Super Red Hawk to an end frame and what an end frame can do compared to what the Super Red Hawk can do, which is much more. Well, yeah, of course it can because it is a bigger, stronger frame. Just like how the X frames are even bigger and stronger than the Red Hawk, Super Red Hawks. And they can handle even heavier loads. Two different size guns, so it doesn't matter. And when it comes to end frames and Super Red Hawk frames, the Super Red Hawk frames are way bigger. Just the regular Red Hawk frames are bigger. The fact that I put the Red Hawk in the same classification as the end frame from Smith & Wesson shows I was trying to be as close as possible and as fair as possible. But most of them aren't the same size. The Red Hawk is bigger than the end frame but I still think of them as comparable guns. However, the Super Red Hawk is not only way bigger than the end frame, it's also way bigger than the Red Hawk frame. 